Do I always find it a little bit weird when Ping release new golf clubs rollout? Because Australia seems to get them before anybody else. So if you're like me, you'll have watched Alex Etch's worldwide exclusive of both the G430 irons and the G430 driver review. He's already done it. And I now can't wait to try both products in my review, which will probably come to you in January next year. But there is one thing I noticed and picked up on that I've got to share with anybody who might be thinking of pre-ordering G430 irons. Now my advice is always going to be get custom fit and don't just pre-order. But I know some of you won't take any notice and just can't resist that pre-order, making sure you're first to get delivery in early January. Now the G430 irons from what I've seen look to be specced up in exactly the same lofts as their predecessors the G425 and also very similar to the G700s and there's one thing about both those sets of irons which is very recognisable and that is the fact that they are both extremely strong lofted sets of irons and the issue for me is down that longer end of the bag where we all struggle the four and five irons are 20 and 23.5 respectively in terms of their loft that's a potential issue and i think i've got a potential solution And you see, I will be definitely giving another new release of Pings a go before you go anywhere near pre-ordering those G430 irons. Can a Ping chipper pop the ball up over uh, four bunkers and land softly? Not so sure. And it's got nothing to do with this review, but uh, now let's give it a go. <laughs> this... What am I talking about? This Ping chipper can do anything. But the new club that's been released by Ping that is of particular interest to me in this review is their new eye crossover. And I'll explain to you why this is a key club that you need to try before you go anywhere near the G430s. Well, that was actually a little bit long. Can it redeem itself and get me up and down from the fringe? But the Ping eye crossover was the club that I really want to pay some attention to today. It's a fully adjustable driving iron and I think it can play a major role in eradicating a problem at the long end of the bag and particularly one that I really stress time and time again when you're thinking of ordering a full set of irons because there's one thing you definitely shouldn't do and that is order a standard set from pitching wedge through to four iron which I know so many of you do and that four and five iron they ain't gonna do a job for you it's a complete waste of money in my opinion because we just do not generate enough club head speed to see the difference in yardages between those two clubs and not this club the ping i crossover could be that solution so if your four and five iron are basically doing exactly the same thing then why have two clubs in the bag when you can replace it with one and that's exactly what i feel like you can do with the i crossover don't forget this is fully adjustable and we can take loft between 1.5 degrees lower and 1.5 degrees higher than this standard four iron which i think is the first amount of flexibility that you're not going to get in your standard set with four and five iron included but then it's how this thing performs in comparison to potentially what the G430 is gonna do if it's anything like its predecessors. And that performance is really interesting. I've got dry ball data that'll tell a story very, very shortly, but I'm gonna start off on this tee box and we're gonna play 180 into this flag. I'm gonna hit two shots for the purposes of this exercise. I've got the G700, which is an older model, but it's lofted at 23 degrees. And like I said, my guess is that's exactly where we'll be with these G430s what you'll see is two really good shots to be fair which uh, I was quite surprised that we managed to execute but the difference in ball flight is significant and now we've got a situation where the four iron crossover that I'm using I've cranked up so that it's lofted at 24 degrees and 23 degrees five iron they've landed on the green they got there in different ways you'll see the ball flight is completely different that ball flight being very key to making this game a little bit easier at the longer end of the bag and you'll see from the dry ball data that I've put in front of you now that launch angle is significantly different two degrees is quite a lot 
and uh, I think from memory 18.9 degrees is it that the uh, eye crossover is launching at is really high when you consider the strength of loft and that's one of the key differences performance out here on the fairways has backed it up there's a couple of other shots that you'll see me hit now which once again seen a totally different ball flight the ball lands in effectively the same position in terms of distance carried but the bit that we struggle with at that end of the bag is launching the ball and that ball flight is significantly different between the two even though the lofts are almost identical and it's something you really need to consider when building that top end of the bag so please stop ordering pitching wedge through to four iron give yourself a little bit more wiggle room in that top end of the bag to change things around a little and this eye crossover does that in terms of performance but there's one other issue you need to consider as you can see they couldn't have finished any closer together in terms of uh, on the green and uh, that really just demonstrates how similar they are in terms of distance and yardage traveled but I did say there was another interesting factor that you need to give careful consideration to and that is the price you see the eye crossover is retailing at 229 UK pounds at the moment and the likelihood is although I don't have that information is the um, G430s are probably going to be around 150 an iron so if you do some basic mass 300 for two irons replace it with one eye crossover for 229 and your quid's in So in my opinion, this club potentially performs better than those four and five iron options. It's also potentially going to save you some money. And the third and final thing is it adds some flexibility into your bag. And what I mean by that is it allows you to adjust this eye crossover to a loft that better suits the gap that you've got in your bag. And the second point is we've just eliminated one club out of the bag which means you've got some extra room to add a hybrid or a wedge down at the other end of the game, depending on what you're looking for. But that extra flexibility that this club gives by replacing two for one, in my book, is priceless. You know, the 16th at Carden Park on a Cheshire is probably the toughest hole in my opinion we just played a nice couple of four irons and that ping chipper again that could be a decent par with two four irons one off the tee one off the fairway ball flight incredible that club is superb in my opinion but this video was about giving you a heads up on what's happening in january in terms of the g430s i'm just wary of everybody going out and pre-ordering with that without giving this eye crossover a little go and you've got the opportunity to obviously to do that now you might go out there and not like it and go ahead and do what you'd uh, want to do with the g430s but i don't think it'd be right of me not to say to you to encourage you to go out and give it a try because from what i've found it's an incredibly good club nothing like a driving iron that i would normally associate it with in terms of its ball flight very easy to use that flexibility in that uh, adjustable shaft for me is a real benefit as well so there's a number of different reasons and i mean this was potentially flawed as well let's not forget i'm using a g700 here to test out this theory because it was a similar loft to what i expect to see in those g430 irons i don't think it'll be too dissimilar in its performance but who knows until i give them a try then i suppose i can't really give you a full answer but it's about the flexibility moving clubs out the bag saving money all those things for me lead you towards the eye crossover instead of having those four and five irons in the bag so hopefully that message came across hopefully it's a good suggestion and one that you might consider and uh, also if you've tried the eye crossover as it's just recently been released then please let me know if you have found otherwise or similar to me right that's it gorgeous morning at Carden Park back on the Cheshire course which you've not seen for a while and uh, hopefully I'll knock that in for a decent par and I'll see you all soon